Hi everybody and welcome to the November podcast for Warhammer Online Age of Reckoning. Unless you've been living in a cave for the last couple of weeks, you're aware that we've briefly closed the beta. The reason that we did this is that we wanted an opportunity to take a really close look at all the feedback we'd received from the initial few months of the public beta. A lot of that feedback was very positive. Things people were enjoying, things that were working really well, and things people were looking forward to seeing more of in the future. But there was also a lot of really helpful and constructive criticism that we received on areas of the game that need a lot of additional attention. So we're using this month's podcast to announce two major updates to Warhammer Online's game system. In direct response to player feedback, we're making considerable changes to both the career system and RVR combat. First, let's take a look at changes we're making to the career system. Players were very happy with how distinct the various careers were from each other, but they felt that within careers, they needed a greater sense of individuality, specialty, and purpose. They enjoyed the way that the morale and tactic system gave them an opportunity to specialize in an under-the-hood sort of way, but players wanted a more obvious way to really distinguish their characters. In response to that feedback, we've gone ahead and created Career Mastery. What that means is that for the early part of your career, you're going to progress in a straight line. Imagine that it's the trunk of a tree. You'll eventually reach a point in your career where you'll be able to branch in one of a few directions. Now this is a work in progress, obviously, but on average, players are going to have three spec lines to choose from. Players will have the opportunity to go all the way up one of the branches, or to hybridize and make selections from multiple branches in different areas. Our intention here is to give players an added level of individuality a sense that there's something special about the way that they have chosen to play their particular career. We also want to make sure that that individual choice is obvious and apparent to other players. This new career system is being implemented in internal builds of the game now, and will be available for testing when the beta starts up again in December. Keep your eyes open for a much more detailed explanation of career mastery next month. That leads us to our next substantial game system update, Realm vs. Realm Combat. Now obviously, EA Mythic is known for RVR combat. What we did with Dark Age of Camelot really set the bar high for what players expect when they think of Realm vs. Realm Warfare. When we started working on Warhammer Online, we wanted to introduce a different kind of RVR, something new and exciting that would expand and improve the RVR experience that players had already come to love. One of the first changes we made to RVR with Warhammer Online was the addition of scenarios. Scenarios are really exciting. They offer players an opportunity to engage in RVR in a way that is balanced and strategic because there's a guaranteed level of fairness to each of the engagements, so the battle doesn't always just come down to population. In addition to the scenarios, we also included a streamlined version of open world or skirmish combat. So when we went into the public beta, one of the things we wanted the players to look at was whether or not this combination of the new scenarios and the streamlined open world combat was interesting and engaging and fun, and most importantly, whether or not it made sense strategically in the world. What players told us was that they enjoyed the scenarios, but that they wished that the persistent world combat was more significant. So, the substantial change we've made to RVR is to go back and look at what we've learned from Camelot, and leverage that in the new version of War. This is as important as it sounds, and we're happy to say that now, more than ever, War is everywhere. Because we're bringing back keeps, we're bringing back persistent fortifications, and we're bringing back siege weaponry. These are gameplay concepts that we do better than anyone else, and they're back where they belong in Warhammer Online Age of Reckoning. Alright, I recognize that what we just gave you was a lot of high-level information and not a lot of specific detail. I promise you in the coming months that you're going to get details about these systems as well as everything else we're continuing to work on for this entire focus period leading up to the relaunch of beta in December. And we appreciate all the feedback that we've gotten and we're listening to you guys. The changes that we're making are in response to things that you've told us. So continue to send that feedback in, continue to let us know what you think, and we're going to continue to work on the game and make it great. See you next time.